Hey, what's up, guys? Car Guy 757 here at Auto City 1100 South Military Highway in Chesapeake, Virginia. Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about a little problem you may have experienced before. Okay, so here we are. We have a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. Great car. What you might have experienced before, your key fob won't open the car. Now, assuming that you don't have a problem with the car's battery and the bat just a dead battery, um, you may have a problem where the key fob battery has went dead, right? can be a huge nuisance because maybe you're out at the supermarket, you're at the store, uh, the doctor's office, school, whatever, and you come out to your car and now all of a sudden, oh no, I can't get my car open because the key fob battery is dead. All right, so what you can do with, in that situation you're going to be able to get the key out of the, the electronic key fob. You can get a manual key out using this little push button. Push that down and it's going to release. Sorry, you couldn't see that. You push that down and it's going to release this out of the back. Now, when you come around, the next thing you're going to notice is, oh crap, I don't have a keyhole. How do I put the key in? There is a slot underneath this cap. You take the key, you put it in the slot, push it upward and pry away. Now this cap comes off and there's your key. So then just like a traditional key, now we're into the car. Oh, the weather is horrible today. So, now what we do is we are going to take and reinsert the key back into the key fob. And I do apologize, guys. I'm doing everything one-handed. So, now the key is back in the key fob. Now what you're going to have happen when you try to start the car, if this were actually dead, what you're going to have happen is you're going to push this engine start stop button here and it is going to flash up here on the dash. No key detected. Insert the key into your slot. Now, old school Cadillacs and some of the GM cars had a slot where you could insert the key into a slot, say underneath the dash or they used to be in the center console, there would be a little cabinet, and you'd put that key in there, and the computer would be able to register this key even though the car, the key in here was dead. They've taken that away. Upon a little research, 2016 Chevrolet Cruze and similar models, probably your Malibus and some of the other cars, Impalas probably, the, the slot is now the forwardmost cup holder. So all you do is you place the key in the forwardmost cup holder. Push the start, and the car will fire right up. No problem. Now I know the battery in mine is going dead, so I'm gonna wait and see here. Once the car shuts completely off, I'm gonna wait and see if it'll actually recognize it. It might, but it might not. The battery's going dead in my remote. Yeah, there you go. No remote detected. So now again, we put it in forward most cup holder. There you go. That is going to save you a lot of headache and maybe a AAA call. Now, like, tag, subscribe, share, follow all my Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all my social media pages because the next video I'm going to make is once you get back home, how to change the battery in that key fob. Thanks, guys. Hit me up. Car Guy 757, Auto City, 1100 South Military Highway, 757-705-4199.